breaking. The Ukrainian army breached the main Russian defense Surovikin Line and is about to reach the village of Verbova in Zaporizhzhia Oblast, meaning the dragon teeth held back Ukrainian soldiers for about 24 hours. And this is very strange Russian video from Verbov. If it shows indeed Russian grad shelling as it claims, Ukraine would have captured most if the village. But it is also possible that this is a mistake or propaganda, and it shows Ukrainian shelling of the Russian-held village. Anyway, Ukrainians are pushing to Verbov, and Russians don't have enough reserves to stop it. Warthog Defense already reported that Russian occupying forces are evacuating Tokmak, which is the main target of the first face of Ukrainian counteroffensive. Based on the events in the south, we think that the Russian defense in the south is gradually collapsing, and it's just a matter of time before huge Ukrainian breakthrough. and Ukrainian drone and missile attacks on Russia and Russian-held territories doesn't stop. This is another strike on Russian Bryansk. And this is the best one, you can see the missile. This video is from temporarily Russian-occupied Fedosha in Crimea. According to local information, there were three rockets. One was shot down, the other two successfully hit the target. A much better quality video of two burned down IL-76 military transport planes at the airfield attacked by Ukrainian drones in Piskov during the night. These drones are taking off from within Russia, just several kilometers away from their targets. Four IL-76 and one Tu-22 are destroyed. A quick recap of last night's events in Russia by Russian propagandists along with finger-pointing at the West for good measure. Doesn't bring them any consolation, though. Жертв в результате атаки нет. Воздушное пространство над Псковом и областью ограничено для пролетов самолетов. Аэропорт Пскова сегодня работать не будет. По информации главного управления МЧС по Псковской области, загорелись воздушные суда Ил-76 военно-транспортной авиации. Также по информации Минобороны, силы ПВО сбили три украинских беспилотника над Брянской областью и один над Орловской. Еще два украинских дрона были уничтожены в Рязанской области, один в небе над Калужской областью. Еще один БПЛА направлялся к Москве, но был подавлен средствами радиоэлектронной борьбы над территорией русского района Московской области. В Севастопольской бухте военнослужащие ВМФ России отразили атаку беспилотников с моря. Около полуночи самолетом Черноморского флота в акватории Черного моря были уничтожены четыре быстроходных военных катера с десантными группами украинских сил специальных операций, общей численностью до 50 человек. Мерзавцы из немецкой помойки Бильд уже хвалят террористическую атаку, называют ее отличным психологическим воздействием. То есть Запад такие теракты одобряет и поддерживает. A very good map by BBC showing Ukrainian UAV 
missile and USV attacks across Russia and temporarily occupied Crimea. The Ukrainian armed forces attacked Russian targets 190 times in last eight months. I assume attacks on Russian targets will intensify in coming months. The lad needs his own live stream on Twitch. I'd be watching this content daily. Ukrainian unit is rolling through destroyed armor in the south. Dramatic collapse of net income for Russia's Gazprom. For the first half of 2023, the net income was 296 billion ruble, around 2.85 billion euro. In the same period of time, in 2022, Gazprom's net income was 2.5 trillion ruble, at this time around 41.5 billion euro. This is a collapse of 92% in only one year. Sanctions work and we need more. The moment a Russian missile struck a supermarket in Kiev got caught on video. Berlin has sent TRML-4D air defense radars and more Leopard 1A-5 tanks to Ukraine, the German government says. According to the updated list of military assistance from Germany over the past week, the country transferred 10 Leopard 1A-5 tanks and three TRML-4D radars to strengthen the air defense of Ukraine. In addition, Germany has sent 16 vector reconnaissance drones, four truck tractor trains, 8x8 HX-81, and four semi-trailers, over 13 million rounds of ammunition for firearms, and a field hospital. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to subscribe. Also, if you want to support Warthog Defense, please become our member and get early access to new videos, exclusive members only videos, and become administrator in comment section. The membership link is in the description. Rescues. Every day we had a guy last week at six rescues in six days. You know, he's doing the job every day.